Good morning, good good afternoon, and good evening. It's Friday, and welcome to Friday. It's a very, very cloudy, overcast, drizzly day here in Austin. And uh, for that reason, I'm uh, inside uh, my residence or my rented room. Uh, to my right shoulder, over my right shoulder, you'll see the hacker. I'm not going to interview him today. He's much too busy and uh, let me know that he was unavailable to be interviewed today. So let's start the last day of April, April 30th, 2021. Some of the special things that happened on this date in history. Our first president of the United States, George Washington, wooden teeth and all, was sworn in as the first president of the great country the great United States of America. So I think I uh, will join everybody in celebrating uh, this special event back in the day, and that was 1789. Uh, number two is a very interesting American story. It's just, I've got a lot of information. I'll try to get it uh, as accurately as I can to you. Today, Casey Jones, the famous railroad man, the famous engineer, was killed uh, in a train wreck. Uh, Casey, Joan was, uh, Casey Jones was 37 when he died. And he was, uh, he was killed in a train wreck. But he was a famous, he was the Mickey Mantle or the Babe Ruth of railroad engineers. Uh, he started as a brake man and then he became a fireman on the train and was finally promoted to his lifelong dream of being an engineer. Casey Jones loved the railroad and he loved driving uh, those big steam locomotives back in the day. Uh, he was married to uh, 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 Mary Joanna Brady. He had three children. He converted to Catholic, uh, to uh, Roman Catholicism, uh, 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 Catholicism. Uh, and when somebody converts when they get married, that's real love. When they give up, a, uh, give up whatever belief system they had before and take on a new belief system, or in this case, a religion, because he loved his wife that much. Uh, he met his wife. His wife's uh, father owned a boarding house, and he was uh, one of the residents of that bo uh, boarding house, and that's where he met his lovely wife, Mary Joanna Brady. Uh, his locomotive that he was killed, it was a 10-wheeler. It was called a cannonball, uh, number 382. And in those days, a fast, fast locomotive often had a generic name and was called a cannonball. Uh, there is some... Uh, the, the fatal train journey was from... Uh, 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 where did it start off... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, started off in uh, Memphis. It started off in Memphis, uh, Memphis, and it was going to Canton, Canton, uh, Canton Mississippi. And what happened was, uh, and he was famous for being uh, one of the, uh, all his peers, all his fellow engineers thought he was the best, the best of the best. He was on schedule. He even had his own train whistle. He had thin shafts, about six of them, binded together, the shortest one being half the distance of the longest one. And when he blew that whistle, it was like a, 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 a Viking cry. It started off slow, and then it, it, then it went up, and then it kind of faded away, like a, like a whooping, uh, uh, they call it, uh, the sound was like a... a where is it now? I'm getting lost in my notes. Jeez, uh, the whistle was like uh, a whipping, a, a whip, a wh whipper, vi a whipper wi a vi will, a whipper will. It's a type of bird, and it sounded like that. And people knew it was Casey Jones coming down the track just from the sound of his whistle. So this guy was just a, a home run hitter from the get go. He was on time. Uh, one time he saved a child. He saw a group of children. He was out on the track. He, 
he, he, he uh, told the engineer, a backup engineer, to, to work the train. They slowed down. He went out on the, the side rails and he, he oiled all the valves and he checked the uh, spark uh, screen. And, uh, and then he noticed a group of children on the tracks. And then uh, he saw them all get off the tracks. But there was one that was caught in the uh, train like a deer in the headlights. And he, at the same time, he yelled to the engineer to put the, uh, the engine in reverse. He got down on the cow catcher. The cow catcher is that thing in the front of the train uh, that, that spikes like this. They call it a cow catcher. He got on that, and in the same, as hard as he could, he grabbed the kid off the uh, track and saved. So this guy was just famous. He was a teetotaler. Uh, he was an avid baseball fan and player. When his schedule permitted it, he played baseball, and uh, he loved the game. He watched all the games he could. And he was just a remarkable, remarkable American hero. And there's even songs written about Casey Jones, the Ballad of Casey Jones. You might remember the, uh, the song uh, by the Grateful Dead, Casey Jones riding that train. Uh, uh, Casey Jones, uh, just, uh, just, a, just a, a wonderful, wonderful story. Anyway, uh, uh, getting to the accident, uh, he was approaching the station. It was a series of events. He was 75 minutes late. Somebody had called in uh, sick. So he had to do some other duties. And uh, he left Memphis about 75 minutes late. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, and, uh, but that doesn't have anything to do with what happened. There was a stalled train. Uh, freight train on his track. This was a passenger train that he was uh, conducting uh, by the time of his death. And he is, he is credited with saving all the lives of the passengers by throwing the train in reverse and stopping the train. There were a few injuries, but they were all minor. Nobody was killed, but Casey Jones was killed. And uh, when they removed his body, uh, the different stories are there was uh, a bolt in his neck that had killed him or a piece of wood in his skull or that in fact uh, he was crushed or it could have been all three but he died at 37 way way too young and uh, that's what happened to Casey Jones so if you ever know uh, or hear that ballad of Casey Jones or that Grateful Dead song or any reference to Casey Jones you'll know exactly what they're talking about and again, you can Google for more pertinent information, more organized information, and more accurate information. So our hats are off to Casey Jones. In 1939, NBC uh, televised its first broadcast from the World's Fair in New York. The New York World's Fair, NBC broadcast the first television broadcast, 1939. Do you know where you were in 1939? I don't know where I was, but I know I wasn't in front of the television. Uh, number four, 1945, Adolf Hitler and his girlfriend, Eva uh, Braun, uh, committed suicide in a Berlin bunker. So uh, ending a chapter that no one wants to uh, revisit. And number five, in 1975, uh, uh, Saigon fell to North Vietnam troops. And that was the beginning of the end of the Vietnam War. Today it's called, Saigon is called Ho Chi Minh City. So very interesting, Casey Jones for the first NBC television broadcast, the suicide of Adolf Hitler and uh, Eva Braun, uh, the falling of Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, and of course, George Washington becoming sworn in as our first president of the United States. Yeah. On a side note, I'd like to say I've started a GoFund page to repair my uh, vehicle. If you can help, you can help. If you can't, I certainly understand any amount is, is acceptable and I will be grateful for any amount uh, as even as, uh, uh, as small uh, if it may be. So I'm looking forward. I've got the estimate. And uh, the estimate is going to be about $3,170. So I'm looking forward for um, a discount auto body to getting my vehicle, my beloved truck, 
back on the road so I can be more mobile with more more in, 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 um, inspiring content from here in Austin, Texas. I look forward to interviewing the hacker at a, uh, hacker at a later time. And uh, everybody, enjoy your weekend. Have a safe weekend wherever you are. Enjoy your food, your family, your friends, and your lovers. And uh, let's just make it all it can be. No, what's happening? Oh.